So in this talk, we are going to consider the directional derivative, the definition of directional derivative function of two variables, but at a generic point. So we are not going to fix the point beforehand. What that means in effect is that, so okay, let me just go over the preliminary. So f is a function of two variables. There's a fixed unit vector. So this is an actual pair of numbers you're given here, and uh, which, which is a unit vector. So it's so this condition. And the direction derivative is denoted this way. What this effectively means is that now, x and y are not fixed beforehand. So the answer is not a number, rather this thing is now a function of the variables x and y. Okay, so you actually get a, a function of two variables. So this new thing is not just a number, it's a function of these two variables. So let's first go over what the definition is as a limit. What's the what's this definition as a limit? Yeah? F hmm? uh, x plus u h hmm? y plus u v h hmm? minus f x y. Yeah. So but notice now this this limit is not a number, it's this limit itself will be a function of x and y. And those are the things you're varying. Okay? Can you think of this as a derivative? It's the derivative of what? Derivative of? Yeah, at h equals oh, 0. Oh, f x plus u h mm -hmm. y plus v h. So, at h equals 0. But zero. what kind of a derivative is it now? Derivative with respect to h. Mm -hmm. But, but, this we just be careful. Now it's a partial derivative with respect to h. Why? Why do we need to use partial derivative now? Because x, y are treated as variables. X and y are now no longer constants. So if you if you go back and review direction derivative for two variables at a fixed point, at a point rather than the generic point one, then we just use we use x naught and y naught in place of x and y everywhere. And the other difference was here we used the ordinary derivative, but now we are using the partial derivative because x and y can also vary, right? So we need to specify that we are actually fixing x and y and therefore we have this. Okay, 